Welcome to the Daily App Show iPhone Edition. My name is Jared, and today we're going to take a look at Munga, which is a role-player card game with a different challenge. And so it logs you in here. You want to do that because, of course, you want your information to be remembered. Um, you could scroll over here and get the About information really easy. Go to Profile and Log In because you'll have your rank and your level here as well. So you'll want to log in for that purpose. Of course, I don't believe you have to log in to play but I think it's a good idea because there's the community. You could view the leaderboard and see who's playing online. So when I go to play, you can see how many people are actually online playing, which is cool because you can play against people online by going to find an opponent. Of course, you could play versus the computer as well or play versus a friend locally, uh, but finding an opponent, playing against completely random people definitely adds a challenge to it all. So I'm going to look at deck maker really quick I can go and create my own deck and of course go into the card shop as well and purchase additional decks um, which uh, can cost a little bit but that's alright so let's just go in and play with the deck that we have I'm gonna go and play versus the computer just to save time here so let's rotate into landscape here now it shows what I have and the computer has I'll go ahead and hit play and you can see the cards that we have. So I can get the menu anytime. I can close the menu or leave the game, just real basic. Uh, and I could tap on my card, which reveals the card to me. So I could view any of these cards and then tap to play that card that of course is selected right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this card. And as you can see now, I have some different options here. I could play my support spell if I wanted to and add some strength to this and then go ahead and play. And as the result, you can see who came out on top. It looks like um, nothing too bad really happened, didn't get any damage, but uh, my opponent did uh, increase a little bit. So let's go back and you can see now we've both played one of our cards each. I can go and play an additional card. Let's use a support spell and try that. Of course there's a strategy here to this and I am not the best at uh, being strategic. Oops, looks like I had a little bit of uh, damage inflicted there, but Apparently it looks like I came out on top this time with my health intact and more strength left over than my opponent. So my support spell was already used, so of course that option is not available to me. Looks like we're tied now. So it's all going to come down to this last play. I'm going to go ahead and just max myself out here for the sake of losing. I think it's probably important to throw as much as I can at this when we're tied on the last card. And it looks like I won the match. I ended up with 15 health, of course no strength left, but my opponent only with 13 health left leaves me the winner. So not bad. So now I'm back in our main view, which of course I can choose to play another game against the computer or find an opponent or play versus a friend. So definitely a challenging, fun game. I also recommend that you go and view the how to play section and you can read through this and see uh, more information about how you know to play and what everything means with your health and your power and what everything uh, of course means to each of those and, and what the different cards do as well because of course each card does a different thing so definitely fun and challenging check out Munga today in the App Store